Hi, my name is Maria and I'm a mathematician and today I'm going to show you how to find the greatest common factor by using factor trees. So if I wanted to find the GCF of two numbers, 12 and 28, what I'm going to do first is find their prime factorization by using a factor tree. So to do the prime factorization of 12, I'm just thinking of two numbers that can go into 12, any two numbers besides 1 and 12. So 4 and 3 come to mind for me right away. And what you want to do is circle any numbers that are prime. So since 3 is prime, I'm going to circle it and know that I'm done breaking it down. I'm going to go to my other tree branch over here, the 4, and break this down. And the only two numbers that can go into 4, aside from 4 and 1, are 2. So I'm going to do 2 and 2. And those are both prime, so I'm circling them. Now, as soon as the ends of all your branches are circled, you're done and you found your prime factorization. So the prime factorization of 12 is 2 times 2 times 3. And for this purpose, you want to write it in standard form, least to greatest. Now I'm going to do the prime factorization of 28. And the two numbers that I think of that go into 28 are 7 and 4. And now 7 is prime, so I'm going to go ahead and circle that. 4 can be broken down into 2 and 2, and those are both prime, so I'm circling them. And now I'm done. Now when I go to write the prime factorization of 28, I'm going to do it underneath the prime factorization of the number 12. So this is going to be 2 times 2 times 7. Now to find the GCF, you're looking for pairs of numbers that both prime factorizations have. So I see a pair of 2's right here, and what happens is every time you circle a pair, it comes out as just one of those numbers, so there's a 2. Here's another pair of 2's, so they're going to come out as another 2, and there's nothing else that they have in common. Now since they're factors, that means that we're multiplying, so I have 2 times 2 is 4, and that is the GCF of 12 and 28. So that's how you find the GCF of two numbers by using a factor tree.